Welcome to the summer 2020 Electrical and Computer Engineering 301 course, Circuits and Electromechanical Components. What I'm showing you is the Canvas uh, page syllabus, uh, which is the default page when you go to Canvas for the course. And what I'd like to do um, is to briefly introduce the course using this syllabus and then show you the different resources that you'll be using as you complete this summer one session online version of EC301. First of all, uh, at the beginning of the top of the page is a little is a photograph of Michael Faraday, uh, who lived <clears throat> in the 18th and 19th centuries, also the founder of electromagnetism. Um, and so the course covers DC and AC circuits, um, transients, transformer, motors, and generators, but I'm gonna give you an idea based on the lectures that I've laid out of specifically what we're going to cover in the course. Um, it's certainly, this course is used as a Tutnam collective for several majors, including computer science and the Tickle College of Engineering. And certainly it's taught regularly by myself in London as part of the six credit engineering London study road program. But this year we're offering it online here um, on this side of the pond. Uh, your course grade is determined from homework, uh, uh, determined from activities you will do in a Zy book. If you're not familiar with the Zy book, don't worry. I'll illustrate that, what that is. Um, it's been provided to you um, by your registration with this course. Uh, and you, you, uh, it doesn't come for free, but it's a minimal cost, um, $58. Um, so 30% is the, is the completion of the Zybook work. Um, there'll be weekly quizzes. So at the end of each week, um, I usually will make the quiz available on Friday and you'll have till 11.59 on Sunday of each week, uh, with the exception of the, this very first week. So, um, so we're getting started this week um, uh, very, uh, on a Thursday. And so you won't have to worry about uh, the, the end of May. All the quizzes will be in June. There'll be a course project uh, where you'll be uh, working with a very small group um, just uh, within probably the, the, the last week or the end, towards the end of the third week of the course. Uh, just an application that we'd like to get you some experience, perhaps with a little bit of a simulator online and just to implement uh, some, a very simple circuit or two. And then uh, the final exam, which will be comprehensive uh, also online as well as the quizzes, and that will count 20% of your grade. Uh, excuse absences are only granted by um, Office of the Dean of Students. I'm assuming everyone will meet the deadlines, but if you, uh, there are extenuating circumstances, then you can contact them and they will, will give me um, the go ahead to, to provide makeup work. Otherwise, there is no makeup work. Um, and the link to the Dean of uh, Students website is provided here, as you can see on the syllabus page. So the way I run this class is asynchronous. So all the lectures are pre-recorded. And eventually, I'm, I'm not finished with all of them, but I'm about two thirds of the way done right now. And I'll show you where the links are to those lectures. So I provide a schedule for which you can follow in terms of covering all the lectures prior to doing the homework and prior to um, taking a quiz. Um, this allows you to look at these videos any time of the day that's convenient for you, since I know many of you may be doing summer work or internships. Um, so I try to keep this course in a way that allows each student the opportunity to succeed in a way that's best for them, but you still have to meet deadlines and progress through the material. Um, and I will also um, be providing Zoom-based office hours, which I'll mention in just a minute, okay? So uh, first, right off the bat, uh, you'll see that there's a link here on this little page to the course schedule page. I'll go ahead and click that just so you can see what it is. Um, so this is a provided under the pages tab in, in the Canvas, um, uh, on the default Canvas page. So if you just click on that tab, pages, you'll see course schedule link, and here it is. And this is basically just a calendar of each day, my recommendation on the video lecture for you to review and to watch, along with the topics that were considered. And then at the bottom is the next table, which is very important because these are the deadlines. So these are the deadlines. For example, you have a deadline of May 29th. So you have this Friday a deadline of completing this very first set of activities in the Zybook. And I'll show you the Zybook in just a second too. But for now, these are deadlines. So each of the entries in here is the deadline for completing that. And then you'll see the quizzes. The first quiz is June 7th. The second quiz is June 14th. And you can see those are all on Sunday, the deadlines of Sunday evening. 
but I'll release them on Fridays. Okay, so you'll actually have a couple of days to work on them. All right. And these links will be activated so that you'll be able to click and execute um, those quizzes. And there's the final exam will be on the very last day. It'll be due on the very last day of class, which is July 1st, but I'll release it a few days ahead of time. Okay, so that's the course schedule page again found under the pages link. All right, so let's go back. Um, the textbook that I used years ago when I first started teaching this course, I developed a workbook that you'll be using um, uh, and working with me through the video lectures on. It's based on this book, uh, Engineering, Electrical Engineering Principles and Applications, sixth edition. There's a more recent edition, but the sixth edition is fine. It's copyrighted 2014. Um, an ebook is available. Keep in mind, I mentioned this is optional. You do not have to have this book. The, the workbook that I've created is based on it, but if you'd like to have it, you can, you can, um, you know, you can get a hold of it in a variety of different ways because it's an older version of the book and ebook should be available. And there, there may be access to it through the vault shelf with this link. Um, the Zy book is required. You have been charged by registering for the course. You have already, your account, your vault account has all been a charge, $58. And you have access now to ECE 301 Circuits Electromechanical Component, the Zybook, all right? And if you do drop the class after the first week of classes, usually you can request a refund, all right? So when you click on this link to the Zybook, here's what you would get. And you'll notice um, the, uh, the URL for the book is usually this form, uh, https colon slash slash learn.zybooks.com, Zybook. And then this is our specific book, UTK ECE 301, Barry, Summer 2020. And you can see there are four chapters <clears throat> that I've configured for this book, and there's an appendix. And don't forget the appendix material. It's actually very useful. There's a lot of nice symbols, quantities, and units. Um, we will end up having to solve very simple linear systems of equations like you did in linear algebra class. There's a nice review of Gaussian elimination. And there's also nice mathematical formulas such as trig, uh, trig, um, trigonometric identities, which you may have forgotten, that are available in the appendix, right? And so the Zybook is a really nice interactive tool where you just click on the different sections and read through them. And there are activities that you would go through. Um, there's just sort of an overview at the very beginning. Um, but uh, as you go through the Zybook, you will see different activities that you'll need to complete. So for example, uh, the first assignment that you have is to do the activities in this section called electrical charge and current. And you'll notice as you, as you go through the material and read through it, you'll eventually come across uh, a participation activity or a challenge activity. And your goal is to participate, you know, execute these um, you know, by uh, selecting start, running through the animation, interacting if it's asking for feedback, um, and, uh, and when you complete these, you earn points. And those points are automatically transferred to the, um, to the uh, Canvas gradebook. But I've got to make sure you understand how to access these activities so that the points will be transferred, okay? So the rule of thumb is you do not actually want to activate, come into the Zybook this way. I'm going to show you in just a second for the homework how you need to access these activities. So the points you earn are transferred to the, um, to the uh, grade book. So again, homework is indicated. This is what I'm talking about. You're gonna do participation or challenge activities of the Zybook. Um, make sure uh, when you come into that activity through the Canvas link for the assignment, which I'll show you, be sure to hit the submit to Canvas button when you're done with the section so the points get transferred. Um, so, and again, note the link button to submit scores is only available when you access the Zybook through the Canvas assignment. So in other words, you, you have to go to the assignment tab in Canvas, find the Zybook activity you want to do and click on that link. All right. So that it sort of creates a bind. It creates a, a pipe from the Zybook into the Canvas gradebook. All right. So make sure the account you're using for your Zybook access is of the form netid at tennessee.edu. Do not use vols.utk.edu. That's because authentication in Canvas world is always done with this type of URL, not uh, domain. It's done with the tennessee.edu domain, all right? Again, 
pay attention to those deadlines and that core schedule, all right? And if you have any time, any questions about the assignments that you're doing in the Zybook or anything in general about the course, go to the Piazza page. If you click here, you will go to the Piazza page. You can also go here and click the link there uh, on the side tab for Piazza. Uh, Piazza is just a wonderful Q&A uh, environment for posting questions. I'll go ahead and click on it here so you can see it. So um, it allows myself and your GTA, Ben Sargent, um, who will be teaching for the course, uh, an opportunity to read your questions so that you can post questions and for the Q&A section and be able to, you know, uh, you can send private messages to us or just general questions about clarifications that we can respond to and all the students in the class will be able to see. And again, um, if you're not familiar with Piazza, I'll be glad to, during any Zoom session, um, give you some more help with that, okay? So let's go back to the Canvas page again. Um, and so uh, course project, we hope to divide all of y'all into three or four teams, uh, three or four students to a team and use an Arduino-based simulation package. Ben Sargent, your GTA, is working on this. This is, he will oversee this course project and it won't be that terribly complicated. We just want you to get some experience building circuits and designing a particular component um, and uh, the groups will be scored on a 100 point scale. And um, this again, this grade is significant. We want to make it a meaningful point of experiential learning. Um, so it counts 20% of your grade and we'll grade it according to completeness, documentation of the component, and does it correctly execute. Announcements. There will always be course announcements. Um, they are generally made available uh, here, uh, the course announcements link on Canvas, but you also may get emails from me consistently about things I'm announcing. Make sure you pay attention to all your email and the course announcements. At the end of each week, I've already mentioned the fact that you'll have a quiz. It'll, they'll all be in June, and you will have exactly 60 minutes to complete each online quiz, mostly composed of multiple choice and matching, and maybe a short answer or two but most of it will be objective so you can get your scores immediately. Here's something very useful though. I'm gonna give you three attempts at every quiz. So that means um, the highest score that you can achieve under three attempts by the Sunday 11.59 deadline is going to be the score. So if you start off and it doesn't go particularly well, but you kind of understand what you did wrong, or you're, you know, you, you, you know, you've narrowed it down, then you know, I'm giving you an opportunity to correct yourself and take it again. So again, you have three attempts at every quiz. However, you only get one attempt at the final exam, and um, but then that will be where that'll be uh, an exam you'll have two hours to complete. Okay. And again, no makeups and no final, no makeup for a final exam. So the lecture notes. This is important. So I've created a link. It's a PDF file. So you'll want to create. You know, click on this link here provided, and you will see. Um, you will get a PDF. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see at least what it looks like. You will get a PDF file that you can, you know, load on your tablet. Um, you can, you know, you can keep it on your laptop. Um, if you have an access to a printer, that could be very helpful. I know you may or may not have access to a printer, but, um, but either way, it's available to you if you want to print it out. Um, and this is the workbook that we're going to use through You'll see me using this in the video lectures, and we'll be filling out the components to help drive home the concepts that we're talking about. So again, it's made freely available to you, um, but it's up to you to decide the manner in which you want to use it. Okay, all right. So I'm going to close that and come back. Again, the link is always there, and if there's any, there sometimes there's errors and corrections. I've tried to filter most of them out, but I can always create a new link um, if if there are errors found. Um, Again, getting help, contact information is available. Uh, I provide a link here. It's also under the Pages tab. If you go to the Pages tab, you'll see the GTA and faculty information. Here I am, my email. Of course, I'm not going to be in my office, um, <laughs> so, uh, but you can contact me. If you're a Skype person, you can contact me. But email is probably the best way, or Piazza. Piazza is perfect, all right? Ben Sargent, Ben is going to be your GTA. There's his email. There is a phone number for him. But again, I think the best way to get in touch with us is through email or Piazza. Okay. 
So, um, so use the resources. Uh, when you log into Piazza, you may have to, you know, go ahead and log yourself in using your NetID. Um, and so uh, make sure that you have, you've done that before you uh, go and post a question. So one thing I'm gonna do, because I've made the course so asynchronous, I don't want to lose anybody. Sometimes you just simply have questions and you don't want to advance any farther until you get some of your questions answered. And maybe Piazza is not sufficient for you. So uh, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at four o'clock, starting in June, I will provide a Zoom session. So um, all you have to do is come over to the Zoom tab on the Canvas page, and you will see all the sessions for summer one that are scheduled, okay? And so as I click here, um, there they are. The first one is June 1st, next Monday. And then you see Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you see it recurring. And all you have to do is click on this link, or all you have to do is, is click on the start. There's a meeting ID. Um, there, uh, I, I, you, I, you shouldn't have to be asked for a password, um, but I will show you some information in case you decide to access the Zoom session outside of Canvas because you wanna use your phone or some other uh, client for Zoom. So under the announcement tab in Canvas, I posted information about these Zoom sessions. And so there we are. And basically this is what I've just said. And again, you know, that I'm gonna have this. Um, and uh, like I said, I, 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 I probably need to come up with a password to set um, uh, so that if you don't wanna come through Canvas, but if you'll come through Canvas for Zoom, you'll be perfectly fine, all right? You, it won't have to prompt you for any particular password. So, so let's go back. Um, okay. Um, again, I'll have to I'll have to email you a password for Zoom sessions. I don't want to necessarily put it here, but it'll be something simple. If if you're not going to try to access it through Canvas. Um, so, um, of course, all students are expected to abide by the university honor statement, which I provide here. Um, you were to participate in this course just like you would if we were on campus. Um, and so uh, you know, please don't provide inappropriate material to other students. Um, you know, collaboration is, can be helpful, but, um, but we need to learn this material on our own. Okay? Uh, here is the grade, uh, grade assignment uh, rubric I use consistently for this course. Um, in other words, in terms of A, A minus, B plus, and you can read the rest of it. Um, sometimes I make some adjustments based on how the final grade distribution comes out. Here's the topics that will be covered, um, and I listed them out here, but again, the course page, um, again, if you come back over to pages and just click on pages link on, so on the syllabus, uh, on, the, on the course canvas page, there's that course schedule. This is all the information that you need. This is the material we're covering, okay? And again, you can see here, I've got the video lecture links available for everything up through section 3.1 through June 15th. So I'm halfway there. Uh, and I will have the rest of these sections filled out in due time, okay? The links for the homework are all here. So you can click on this link to start the, the homework when you're ready. Another option is you can go to the assignment tab and you can go to your assignment tab and then under assignment tab, you'll see homework and here they are as well. These are perfectly good to access the homework activities in the side book as well, right? It tells you the due date and how many points you're earning. This is how you have to access the Zybook activities if you want those points generated and transferable to the gradebook in Canvas, okay? This is, you must use these links. Don't just arbitrarily get in the Zybook and start working on it, and then you won't get a button option to transfer it. It has to start from Canvas first, okay? All right, so, um, so we go back. I think I've covered most of the information that's available here. Um, on the syllabus page, okay? Um, and of course, I will be constantly reminding you of the deadlines just to keep you in track. But again, the schedule, the course schedule page should do a good job. Um, make sure you can access the Zybook, as I've indicated here. Um, make sure you can get access to it. You'll see the assignments in the Zybook also were provided. You'll see a list of all the current assignments that have been made, okay? 
In fact, all the assignments are there, okay? There's nothing else I have to create for you. They're all there. I encourage you not to try to get too far ahead though. Try to make sure that you're following the course schedule and doing the assignments prior to the quiz that you're going to take. Because if you get way too far ahead, it can get a little bit confusing. The material is going to be cumulative, that's for sure. And by the time the final exam rolls around, you really do have to have a good working knowledge of all the material, right? But this is an online class and you have all the resources available to you as you take, um, take those quizzes and the final exam. I do not encourage you to use the internet. Use the workbook resources that I'm providing for you and the Zybook. That should be, that'll be sufficient um, for all the material that you're held accountable for in this course. And again, the Zoom sessions will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, they will be available through this link. Again, clicking on that link. And you do not have to participate in them. There's no points earned by them. It's just my, uh, it's just, uh, me making available um, uh, myself and uh, Ben as well, and he, he may be joining us uh, on these Zoom sessions. Um, so uh, one thing I wanted to point out is, again, um, oh, this is what I meant to tell you. This is the password. So I did create a password, and basically I've made it um, the, uh, the, this particular date, all right? which is going to be essentially the last <laughs> Zoom session. So it'll be 06, standing for June 29, 2020. So 06292020 is the password you might be prompted for if you're trying to come into the Zoom session outside of Canvas. If you come into Canvas and click on these links, uh, as I just showed you, you will be fine. But if you're doing it from your phone or somewhere else an activity, there will be, it'll probably, it's going to prompt you for that password. Okay. And again, you can email me if you forget it, but it's just 06 2020. Okay. It's so great to have all of you this semester. I hope you enjoy this material and please provide me feedback as we go through. If things are not flowing as smoothly as, as you would expect. And there's something that I can do or Ben can do to make this experience better. We'll have more information about the course project uh, in a little while right now. I just want you to get situated, used to watching the videos, posting questions at Piazza, and working on the Zybook material, okay? Again, um, Michael W. Berry, um, Professor in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, and it's so great to have you on this version of EC301 for the Summer One session of 2020.